So anybody notice anything here first before we go down to the main finding? Stomach looks thick. The stomach is a little thick walled. And then we come down here. There's like, yeah, some nodes or masses. Yeah, some either nodes or masses, correct. There's another one here. Hmm. And then there's this periceliac region here. So, and then I'll show you this diffusion. Hmm. Kind of have a few few spots here. So here. gastric cancer or lymphoma? Um could be gastric cancer or lymphoma. But uh, to, go, to go along with the thickened gastric mm. yeah. Oh, yeah. How about is, how about gastronoma guys? Yeah this is <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Gastronoma. So this is actually a case of Zollinger Ellison syndrome. Um, we thought that there was perhaps just one duodenal mass and two lymph node conglomerates here, but um, the pathology is reading it as two discrete masses, hmm. and the celiac mass was a metastatic node. And then they did excision of this, um, this nodule, which you can barely see on, on the venous phase, but uh, some of these you could see on the diffusion. So case of gastronoma with nodal and liver metastases. all I have. Oh, that was a great case. Right. I always forget this, but there's, do you know there's like three types of gastrono uh, gastronomas? Gastric neuroendocrine tumors? <laughs> anyway, so the first yeah. type is not actually, it's like when you have like diffuse neuroendocrine hyperplasia in your stomach. So they have multiple tiny nodules. And I think the patients get like pernicious anemia or something. Second type, I think, is this, which is Zollinger Ellison, where you get in the um, gastronoma triangle, you'll get a mass and then um, hyperplasia in the stomach and elevated gastrin levels. And then the third type is a true neuroendocrine tumor of the stomach. So it'll be a larger mass, like three to four centimeters, a solitary mass in the stomach. And those are the ones that tend to um, also metastasize more. Very interesting. I, but the first one is um, like you just, it's basically neuroendocrine hyperplasia. It's almost like dip niche of the stomach. And so yeah. they can get them on biopsies, like on EGD biopsies, but you wouldn't treat it with like a gastrectomy or anything like that. I think you have to treat the anemia or something. I, I guess, um, presumably, we wouldn't be able to see those uh, on imaging, actually. Right, exactly. No. Yeah. They usually like kind of incidentally find them on EGD or because of their symptoms. Or yeah. That's, that seems to be one of the uh, thoracic uh, radiologist's favorite diagnoses. But I, don't, I think because of the way we, we cannot see superficial lesions in the stomach, we don't get to enjoy that. Oh, you mean dip niche? Yeah, dip niche. Yeah, 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 that's there. <laughs> All right, I will stop sharing here.